Are you ready for the pool list podcast? I hope so. I you hope, hope so. Ready. I reckon it's safe to go ahead and fire the music. What do you think? Uh, yeah, sure. Sure, fire some music. All right, so it's time for the pool list podcast. Uh, we are, as always, excited to discuss what was in our uh, boxes this week, even though uh, we're missing... I'm missing a title. JP's missing two titles. Yeah, man. Got shorted big time. Well, God, I get two or three at least. Yeah. yeah. Comic shops in transition and balls are getting dropped. And I hate when balls get dropped. And I mean, well, unless you're turning into a man or do you, do you still resent that part of your life? It, it, it was just as strange as this. <laughs> that much I can tell you. <laughs> oh, but we are on to this is our third one. We actually Isn't stuck it? to it for three weeks. How do you like that? I like it a lot. Let's I just like hope it. we can continue sure. to stick to it. But so, as always, if you're new to the Pool List Podcast, what we're going to do is we're going to do a rundown of just what was in our box, and we're just going to discuss uh, spoiler-free about the issues, and then we'll give you a warning, and then we'll go into spoiler territory. So if you haven't read your comics this week, it's safe to listen. We'll kind of let you know what to expect as far as is it good or is it bad, in our opinion. And before we go, another disclaimer, we are not experts, so please... I know experts. Please don't hold us to the standards of experts. We just really enjoy podcasting, and we also enjoy comics, and we also enjoy discussing comics, so that's why we're doing this. We just are comic enthusiasts, and uh, we just love the community that YouTube creates with, you know, fellow comic fans. And, you know, we invite you to comment and leave theories. Tell us why we're wrong. Tell us, you know, whatever. Give us your opinion. But we are not experts, so we will get stuff wrong every now and again. So please just forgive us. But with that said, let's move on to what we got of this week's pull list. Uh, I think even though you're missing uh, a title or two more than I am, we got the same thing, right? This this week our list lined up. What we both what we got we both got the same thing. I, I think so. Yeah. All right. So let's start in the Marvel category. Infinity Wars number three. Yeah. Oh, so, the, such a great series. So such far, a great yeah. series. Uh, and again, we'll keep it spoiler free for this portion. But um, Requiem, Requiem, I guess is what we'll call. Uh, for people that maybe haven't gotten into the series yet, maybe they we won't tell who that is, but that is you know a known character. Mm-hmm. But uh, man, that character is just going full on evil. Yeah, yeah, Breaking Bad big time in a series. The Infinity way. Stones are just just They're, corrupting the mind. You think or yeah, absolute power? They there's a saying about that. Who knows what it is? But. So if you haven't gotten into that series, it's only three in. Though there's a lot. Before, I mean, you had uh, Infinity Wars Prime. You had the uh, countdown to Infinity Wars. So, I mean, there is a lot of catching up to do. But even if you did just want to jump in at number one and start reading, I think you'd be okay. Um, really good series. I give that one two thumbs up. I very much enjoy that. Really thought it was just going to be kind of promotion for the movie that came out this past summer. But mm-hmm. turns out it's a really good series. So. Yeah. Moving on, Amazing Spider-Man number five, kind of wrapping up the whole Peter Parker split thing. Um, I like this issue. I hadn't been as fond of that. I like the issue number one and two, three, and four. I was just kind of like, eh, on. But number five, it wraps up pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it was a good culmination. Yeah, a good wrap-up of that series. And uh, I do like, <clears throat> I do kind of like, I guess, um, what Nick Spencer's doing, kind of really trying to delve into what makes Spider-Man Spider-Man. You know what I mean? Yeah, having could, a little, having some fun along the way. Yeah, met some familiar faces. So. Yeah, so I yeah. give that one two thumbs up. Was very pleased with it. If you hadn't been as fond of the last few issues uh, and you hadn't got to number five yet, rest assured, I think I feel like number five wraps it up pretty good. It's, I'm excited to see where number six is going to go. Moving into the DC world, well, because we yeah, are missing... Yeah, I was going to say, before we wrap up Marvel, I'll just say, short at Fantastic Four number two, I would love to talk about it. I love the first issue, but I didn't get it. Also, Venom first host number three. Thought the first issue was awesome, and uh, you know they kind of gave me the shaft on the, uh, the last two issues. And uh, lastly... Spectacular Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man. We both love that Number series. Three oh nine. I've liked that. No kidding. The last two years. I mean, that's only it came out two thousand seventeen, I believe. But since it's been out, yeah. since they brought it back, Peter Parker. Sp- I've liked that title. better than the Amazing Spider-Man, dude. I've I've not had any issues with that. I've th- I've thought that was the superior between the two Spider-Man titles. To be honest, yeah, really cool Sandman story going on really right sad now. Sad Sandman story. 
Yeah, but, but we sadly, didn't get that. Neither one of us got it. So, so yeah, hopefully three we'll be titles able to kinda, I'm a, I'm short on. And hopefully we'll be able to come back next pull list podcast and kind of touch back on those. Let's hope so. Uh, moving to the DC world, Flash number 54. I've been so hit or The Flash for me has been so hit or miss. I mean, some storylines have really got into this one with the whole trickster. The speed, the strength force is really cool. And there's parts of it I like, but overall, I'm just kind of glad that this whole trickster storyline's wrapped up, which I'm not going to spoil it, but it might not be wrapped up. It we'll might, see. Yeah, you know? I, I think something's still going to come of that. We'll have to wait and see. But it's okay. I give it one thumb up. I mean, if you like the Flash, one thumb up, okay, not two. One. Go. It's not there bad. It's just not my favorite. You no. a thumb and a pinky, maybe. A yeah, yeah, thumb. I'll do that. A thumb and yeah, a pinky. There you go. There you kind go. Of, the next title I give two thumbs up before we even talk about it. Oh. Superman number three, man. Yes. I have been loving. I've, I've read where some people are not fond of Bendis's run on or take on Superman, but and I honestly was a little worried that he would make it. You know, it would be. He's written some great stuff, but I mean, here in his later years with Marvel, some of his titles have been a little campier and. I didn't know what to expect with Superman because coming from uh, action comics with the rebirth and everything, I really had liked how, uh, because I really had, I had dropped Superman, but I liked how dark kind of action comics had gotten. And, and I say dark, not, I know Superman's been darker, but I just mean it was a lot more of a serious tone to it. A lot was at stake. And uh, I'm not going to lie. I've been thrilled with Bendis' run. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah, Superman. I like Superman you know, better than action. Threats, learning uh, new things about you know like established history in the in the Superman mythos. So yeah, lots of good stuff going on. But yeah, so two thumbs up. If you hadn't jumped on that, you still got time. There are only three issues in. You still have time to, to jump on that. I'm sure comic shops probably overstocked number one. So I'm sure you can go back and start it if you want or eBay. But I've really, really been digging. Like I said, I last go round I liked uh, action comics better than Superman. This go round I'm liking Superman better than I'm liking action comics. I like action comics. Nothing wrong with it. Oh, I'm yeah. saying Superman is the the superior, I believe. Yeah, I, I would I would say so too. Definitely a lot more action right yeah. now. Um, and I'm loving this new villain. Oh, what yeah, man. Badass, man. Yeah, for sure. Um, and finally, the last title that we got, Oblivion Song number seven. I've really enjoyed this title. I'm not going to say it's been my favorite image title, but with that being said, I've really enjoyed Oblivion Song. And I feel like this last issue just really took it up a notch. Like, kind of issue, it depends on the issue, but some of them I, I'm looking forward to next month, you know, but I'm not like, like Gideon Falls has me just like, as soon as I put it down, I'm like, I need next month's, like right now. Yeah. And it, with the Oblivion song, I didn't really quite get that. Like, I'm like, that was good. Can't wait for next month. But this one now, I really am excited for next month. I thought this was a great issue. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, starting to get some uh, some answers, some clarification. A lot exactly of backstory. Going on. Yeah. A lot of backstory in this one. You find out a lot about Nathan, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, really good. So Oblivion Song, it's been out for a while, but when the trades come out, if you've thought about it, get it. I mean, it's it's everything that you typically love about an image title. It's different. It's kind of abstract. It's a really cool story. Um, Worth a read. For oh, sure. absolutely. It's one title I don't regret having on my pool list. I've never questioned. I have a, a lot of titles. I'm like, eh, maybe I should drop it, save a little money. But this is one I've never had any yeah. desire to drop. Very good. So that ends the spoiler-free portion of our pool list podcast. So... Thank you so much for joining. As always, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe, comment. And when you subscribe, something I need to start adding is make sure you click the little bell beside the subscribe button. Then you'll get notifications that we've posted new videos. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, because sometimes uh, YouTube doesn't do the best job of letting you know when new things are out from people you're subscribed to. So just click the little bell beside the subscribe button and you'll get a notification every time we post a video. Because we also do Walking Dead reviews. We also do... I fear the Walking Dead reviews. We do Walking Dead comic reviews. I know I'm saying a lot of Walking Dead, but we are trying to branch out and do yeah, things. Yeah, that's where we got our start. Yeah, you know? do other things as we well do. in addition to. But, uh, yeah, so thank you so much for listening. Let us know your thoughts below once you've caught up and read these titles. Uh, now you're in sp- spoiler territory. Are you ready? There's no turning back. Choppy waters. Here we go. Right. Going backwards this time, we're going to start with Oblivion Song. Nathan is the cause of all of the world's problems. Yeah, who would have thought? That's why he's, you know, so guilt written. It's, it's not just his brother he's trying to save. He's he he did this. I know. thought they did a really good job. Like Kirkman and they did a great job when they wrote this of really painting this backstory. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was I mean, got his whole team killed too. Yeah, man, it is these brilliant minds just wiped out. 
by this one mistake. You know what I mean? This one miscalculation. And I mean, it, it speaks a lot on science today when you think about it. I mean, which a lot of sci-fi does. The, it kind of warns us the danger of of playing God in a sense. But yeah, um, kind of reminds you what was it? The uh, Hydron Collider or whatever. They I call remember it. when they were first unveiling that thing. What was it like? Two thousand seven or yeah, eight? Or they were like, on the radio. You know, we're gonna, we're going to learn so much. It could possibly create a black hole and destroy the planet. the planet, but still it's, you were learning lots of cool stuff. So I remember when that happened, there was, there was uh they were like protests and people were, you know, not excited about it. Some yeah. some people were not happy about it at all, but Hey, I mean, that's science. You always have to push the boundaries and put the planet at risk, yeah, right? So if you want to sucked know. into a black hole, you know, what's whatever. the worst thing? I mean, you know, it's whatever, maybe we'll come out of the white hole, which is what, you know, in space, they say white holes are the opposite of black holes. They don't, pull anything in they like spit stuff out so oh, they huh. could be you know i mean i just was watching uh, other youtubers um talking about it and you know one that i watched said something about it could be like the back door to a black hole right you know, it comes goes in a black hole spits out the white hole so who knows but anyways i digress but still uh oblivion song man i i really like this like i said some issues none of them have been bad not a single issue has been bad but compared to the pacing of like gideon falls where you learn something crazy and new every issue and it's just like so many questions it wasn't keeping pace for, with with me i was like i like oblivion song but i'm not like you know throwing people out the way to make sure i get my issue but uh this was a great issue i'm looking i, I we see his girlfriend come in and give him two darts one to get him in and one to get him out yeah Oh, what a girlfriend. His brother's, way, way better than a, a cake with a file baked into it, that much <laughs> I, I can say. His brother's not faring so well back here in the real world. No, oh, man. All homeless looking and, you know, disoriented yeah. and like, man, you know, kids walking around with tablets telling their moms to, you know, piss off or whatever. It's a, yep. it's a whole new world. Yep. So... Uh, moving up the ladder to DC, Superman number three, Earth is in the Phantom Zone. It's in the Phantom Zone, and uh, nobody really faring well. Batman's laid out on the toilet puking. Uh, yeah, it looks like he had just a, a rough night of, of drinking, and I don't, <laughs> I don't know what he's up to. But the Flash not faring well either. I mean, it's it's a lot. You know, it's the Earth's not meant to be here. No, no, the atmosphere is getting toxified, and you know, Superman's trying to figure out what's what, get things right. I like when they were like, well, if we're here, what's what's where the Earth should be? And then it's like that guy's like, guys. Yeah, yeah. He's just <laughs> floating there with a satellite. It's not cool, man. Yeah. Like, what the hell? Um, but some new alliances being formed in the Phantom Zone. It looks like war has come to Earth yet again. An army of angry people <laughs> that have been trapped in the Phantom Zone a lot by Superman. Yeah, yeah. The, this uh, new threat, the guy who apparently wiped out Krypton and is trying to ethnically cleanse all the Kryptonians, he's, you know, amassed a, quite a force. Say this guy's name. Right? Yeah, I was afraid to say it. I right? am I too, like, oh, man. Gonna, like, I keep saying, I, I almost want to say Ra's al Ghul, you know. Yeah. It just kind of, to me, feels like it, I don't know, but... Yeah, he's a really good villain, though, man. Super powerful. Kind of like, well, I don't want to say they're Thanos, because I guess Dark Side, Dark Seed would be like, kind of yeah, like they're I, I Thanos was, would be, yeah, because they say they, Thanos was designed after, you know, like kind of modeled after Dark Seed or whatever. Yeah, but I, I was thinking more of like an intelligent uh, doomsday, you know? There you go. Yeah. Like he's not just some mindless killing machine, you know, he's got the, the strength to take on Superman, but he's also got intellect, so. And people skills. Yeah, and apparently a lot of race hate towards Kryptonians. Because so. I, I I like how he's like, I didn't kill you all. I hope you you know you noticed that I could yeah. have, but I didn't kill any of you. Right. Uh, moving up to Flash fifty four, the strength force is really cool. It's a cool idea. Um, I like how he can like manipulate the gravity around him and make things float. Yeah. But um. I don't know. Like I said, I, I'm really digging the art in the Flash right now, and I'm digging like how DC's kind of went back to these like non-glossy pages yeah oh, i yeah, love the yeah. feel I'll, of it I'll, man it I, I really yeah, hope I they keep that up um it's parts of the flash i like in parts i don't um i don't know i love the flash he's my favorite dc character but this this run have just been kind of it's had some really good highs and it's had some pretty low lows for me some some boring storylines that i really could not care any less about but this one was kind of caught in the middle like I, I didn't love it, but I didn't hate it. It was, it was cool. It's something new. The strength force. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, they, they're introducing all these new elements from where they, they broke the, uh, the barrier surrounding our, mm -hmm. you know, multiverse or whatever in metal, and 
so yeah, and all this weird stuff's leaking in, and he, he's just dealing with it as best they can. Mm-hmm. So, moving up to Marvel, Amazing Spider-Man number five. Spider-Man is well, Peter Parker, or both of them are whole again. They're whole, yeah. Figured out, you know, you can't live without one without the other. I love the little talk Mary Jane had with him, but it kind of reminds me of. Uh, Batman and Catwoman like she's basically you know didn't leave him like Catwoman left Batman but you know she's like I thought that all I wanted was to be you and I without Spider-Man but turns out that you know that might be why one of the things that kept me coming back you know Uh, man I think it's just all that freaky Spider-Man sex man getting it all (laughs) like at the uh, the top of the uh, the Empire State Building you know Banging on the ceiling, all this kind of weird stuff. Shoot. Like webs are up to the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. Well, just you know, just guy gets you know his hands and feet on the ceiling, got her up on on top of her. I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying, man, Mary Jane, you ain't fooling me. I know what you want. I know what you like. I'm interested to see where. Um, I'm interested to see where uh, where this is going to go next because I know Nick Spencer kind of well. Obviously, it's going to Craven the Hunter next. Yeah, um, really but cool reveal at the end. I'm uh, I'm excited to see how this is going to play. I I, I I respect that Nick Spencer is really trying to go through some of the classic Spider-Man things that made Spider-Man so popular and some classic kind of style storylines and stuff. So I mean, I mean, I'm, I was thinking about dropping it about two or three in, but I think I'm gonna stick to it and just see see where we go from here. Of course, Spectacular Spider-Man is. Is my Spider Man ish right now? I know, so we I can't talk wait to read it. that. We'll get it soon. Our, our guy know. over there, Andrew, is he does good, man. He's gonna he's gonna get those issues. We don't have anything to worry about. We're gonna get them, and next week we're gonna be talking about how awesome the spectacular Spider Man was. I certainly hope so. And then you'll be filling me in on Fantastic Four and Venom First Host. Uh, yeah, we shall see. And you said Venom First Host has been wonderful, right? Yeah, I read the first issue, man. I thought it was uh, dynamite. Dino shedding some light on uh you know where the the venom symbiote you know comes from the first person it latched on to all this kind of stuff so good stuff well let's wrap it up talking about infinity wars number three who man gamora is just breaking bad something fierce i mean geez and poor loki man he tried to tried to tried to secure his spot by her side and she's just like Nope, this chick can write her book, but you know. Yeah, and I think I think you know it's always Loki's playing at a larger game, but <laughs> I want to say, am I the only one that was kind of disturbed with uh, who was it, Emma Frost and um, Wolverine combined? Yeah, that's a... that was a little weird, like a sassy Wolverine in a way, yeah, you know, yeah. like a sassy Logan man. I didn't. Um... You know, I don't know. It was kind of it was kind of odd, but yeah, the the merging of the heroes. So basically, instead of like like killing half of the population of the universe, she's folding it yeah. in half, merging people. It's a really cool idea. Yeah, I guess it's a little bit more humane, right? Uh, but it's like I don't know. Like I want to get these warps like one shots, but then again, I kind of don't. I don't. I don't feel like they're as essential to the story. I feel like you'll get backstory and stuff, but I don't know. But, but then the collector in me wants to have all of them. Yeah, I, I was gonna pick some up here and there, but you know, I don't know what our comic shop will have extra on the wall. Yeah, I, right. I don't know. So um, yeah, I don't know, man. But I, 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 part, I want to read them because I'm curious. But it was interesting. We've got uh, Steve Rogers, the Soldier Supreme. <laughs> You've got Arachnite, dude. My favorite panel from that entire comic, and I know it's completely random. But my favorite panel from. Uh, Infinity Wars uh, issue three was I want more Moon Knight and Spider Man. Can we give these two there? You have a Spider Man Deadpool title which I used to get and it's really good. I just dropped it to trim some fat off my my list. But I want a Moon Knight and Spider Man. I love it when Moon Knight's like, "Wow, I picked a bad moment to space out what I miss." And Spider Man's like, "Gamora's taking over the family business." He's like, "Who's Gamora?" Spider Man's like, "Just punch whoever I punch here in a yeah, second." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, two great street level heroes. Love, love me some Moon Knight. Moon Knight's the shiznit man. Yeah, great title. If you're not getting that, you really should. That would make a really good Netflix series. I think that they're talking. I've heard it's in talks, and we actually just had the Daredevil season three, you know, teaser drop. So yeah, and uh, Iron Fist uh, season two just dropped. They say that's really, really good. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Wasn't a big fan of season one, but I've heard a lot of good things about season two. So I look forward to uh, binging that this weekend. Yeah, I need to catch up, man. I haven't finished Jessica Jones. I haven't watched Luke Cage season two. So I, I got some catching up to do. 
I've seen a lot of negative things about Jessica Jones season two, but I personally enjoyed it. What, what I've watched so far, I've liked. Yeah, I've liked it. I mean, like I said, I liked uh, Daredevil. Of course, is is my is is just amazing. Season two, obviously, is my favorite, but season one was great as well. Uh, the Punisher was phenomenal. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, Luke Cage was pretty good. I mean, I liked Luke Cage. Um, did I watch season two yet? I think I watched season two. I haven't seen it yet. I think I watched season two. But I don't know. But Iron Fist, I was not a fan of. Season one just bored me. It was like, oh man, it's I don't know. Just I just was not a fan. But uh, the Defenders was okay. But they've had some good Netflix stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know about you, but I really love this art in Infinity Wars. Uh-huh. I really love the art. It's just kind of like a dark. I mean, it's I really like it. It's just kind of a flat. I don't even know how to describe it. It's almost like a dreamscape kind of. A pot. I don't know. It's I really like the art though. That's yeah, really yeah. pleasing art to my eyes. Man, it's a it's a really well rounded series so far. But yeah, so I believe that's going to wrap it up for this week's podcast. A little shorter, but uh, nonetheless, we were actually able to pop this thing off in less than thirty minutes. Yeah, and like I said, you know, a few titles light that we uh, would have covered. So we'll get them. It'll be okay. I, we'll I, get I, them. I can't. I can't do it. We're gonna get them. Uh, we'll see. But uh, so please subscribe, subscribe. (laughs) It's early. You got to forgive me. I've got this hurricane. It's actually now not probably going to give us much of anything, though, but it's made the work. I'm all stopped up this morning. I can barely get a word out. But yeah, so please like, comment, subscribe, get in on the conversation. What do you like about the issues that we've talked about? What do you not like about them? What are some issues that we haven't mentioned? Um you know, or like, what are some titles that you're reading that we haven't mentioned that we just have to jump on board? We're always looking for some new good stuff, um, you know, and we look forward to having you as we grow this uh, pull this podcast. Uh, yeah, we sure we sure do grow growing everything. We talk for a living, like I, we both do a morning show on our own on our other two stations. So by the time we come around to doing this, that coupled with the fact that it's so early, I find myself talking right into brick walls. better than walking in a brick wall this is true but yeah so please make sure to like comment subscribe be a part of this let us know we 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 love comic book discussions and we are not we don't if you if we love a title that you absolutely hate that is fine everybody's got different different opinions like comment under and tell us like why you dislike this so much you know or if there's something we don't like and you can bring some light to why we should like it Go for it. There you go. You want to enlighten me on the flash and tell me why I should have loved this storyline? Please do. Like, I'm not going to argue you. I'm always willing to hear someone else's opinion. So, but yeah, we will catch you next week. Next week. For the Pool List Podcast. I'm Justin. Yeah, I, I, I'm JP. <laughs> We're the podcasting dead. Yep.